Next tonight, a use of force investigation is underway in Los Angeles. The cousin of a Black Lives Matter co-founder died after being tased. Newly released body camera video shows Keenan Anderson running in the street earlier this month after a traffic collision. Officers said he was exhibiting erratic behavior. He was then tased repeatedly before being taken into custody. Anderson was at the hospital when he went into cardiac arrest and died. We want to warn you, this video is disturbing to watch. Here's ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi. Tonight, the LAPD facing growing questions over the death of an unarmed black man following a violent arrest. He's got his jaw for me. In a newly released body camera video, 31-year-old Keenan Anderson, who happens to be the cousin of Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors, can be seen making contact with police. Driver? Motorist on the scene telling police the English teacher caused a traffic accident. Hey, stop right there. Get up against the wall. According to police and bystanders, Anderson was displaying erratic behavior, yet they say he initially complied with the officer's orders. I want people to see me. Sir, okay, you can Please. sit right there then. You want to be seen? Stay right, right, right there. there. Minutes later, police say Anderson attempts to flee. The edited video then jumps to Anderson, pleading with officers, restraining him while on the ground. Hey, stop him, I'll tase you. You trying to draw for me. Anderson is then tased several times. He's handcuffed and put on a stretcher, then taken to the hospital. Police say cocaine and marijuana were found in his system. Four and a half hours later, he went into cardiac arrest and died. Colors taking to social media following her cousin's death, writing in part, quote, Keenan deserves to be alive right now. His child deserves to be raised by his father. LA's mayor announcing full investigations are underway, adding, quote, I have absolutely no tolerance for excessive force. And with an independent autopsy and further toxicology reports still need to be completed, although drugs were found in Anderson's system, it is not clear yet whether or not that contributed to his death. Wit. All right, Mona, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.